Good afternoon everyone. I'm Alisha Anand reporting from Exhibition Showcase. Today we are here in Hyderabad with the COO of High Tech Convention Center and President of IEIA, Mr. Nagendra Prasad with us. Good afternoon, sir. So, sir, just tell us something about your journey. How did you come into the exhibition industry and what has been your background? Uh, I have come to the exhibition industry by accident like most of us are uh, here today. Uh, my journey started with uh, LNT. I, LNT has been my first company. And uh, when they built this high tech exhibition center way back in 2002, uh, I was associated with high techs. Uh, that is where my association began. And I moved across uh, various departments, various places in LNT. And finally, was again posted back in 2012, Jan, to head the unit here. So any particular thing that made you feel interested in the exhibition industry? Uh, I really uh, not interested. I am actually in love with the exhibition industry <laughs> today. Uh, I see, you know, when you are executing an event, it is almost like running your own enterprise and you deal with every facet of the functions, every function. Absolutely. So, uh, can you please share something about the inception of Hitex? When did it started and how long and how good has been the journey of Hitex as of now? Uh, this was actually started or constituted as the brainchild of the state government actually. And uh, at that time there was Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu who was the chief minister. Mm -hmm. And it was his concept basically. Uh, the state government uh, wanted it on a public-private partnership mode. Um, seeing that in India this mode would be more effective than a pure play government operated venue. Mm -hmm. So, um, and also this was modeled out of, uh, uh, in Germany the expo centers are owned by the cities. So here also we have uh, major equity held by the city of Hyderabad. Uh, it's a PPP venture where 58% is owned by a private enterprise and 42% is owned by the government. Again, from the government, it is the Municipal Corporation of Hyderabad, the Hyderabad Metropolitan Development Authority, the Tourism Department, uh, they own the shares. And the land is again from the government. So it is more the government's vision being executed by this SPV. As a convention center, what makes Hitex different from other centers? We have HICC in Hyderabad also. So what makes Hitex totally different and apart from other convention centers? Um, we and HICC complement each other first and we together actually are promoting Hyderabad and trying to attract uh, the best of conventions, exhibitions to this mm -hmm. city. Uh, Hyderabad in, in general is very different from rest of the country. Uh, we have excellent uh, MICE infrastructure, whether it is exhibition infrastructure with Hitex or the convention infrastructure with HICC. And we have a uh, number of hotels around us, which is our best USP, I would say. We have almost 6,000 good quality hotel rooms in three, four, five star categories in just a five kilometer radius, which none of the major uh, cities like Delhi or Mumbai can even talk about. And uh, we have an excellent climate in Hyderabad. Um, number of avenues for uh, to engage uh, the visitors in. Uh, there are heritage sites, uh, monuments, there are public places, there are wildlife re uh, reserves, there's uh, rivers, uh, dams, uh, and modern infrastructure, shopping malls, uh, and excellent cuisine of Hyderabad, which is known uh, worldwide. So it's a complete package. And we also have the added advantage of an excellent airport, which has been winning awards cons consecutively. And uh, we have Global Connect. And we are in the center of the country, in the middle, just two, and two hours flying distance from any major city. So it's a complete package uh, for MICE, the best destination, I would say. We have uh, 53 acres of land on which Hitex is built. In the first phase, we have built about 10,500 square meters of indoor exhibition space. And we have other ancillary infrastructure, including this building, which we call the Trade Fair Office Building, which houses common infrastructure like meeting rooms, like organizer's office, protocol lounges, restaurants, ATMs, medical center, and all those. And also houses offices of uh, different exhibition, conference organizers, service providers, etc. They are all located here. Um, this is uh, this and the halls were built in the first phase. 
Going forward, we have a lot of ambitious plans to increase capacity because the market demands so. Uh, and our next haul uh, is in the pipeline. Um, hopefully, by end of next year, we should have the new haul, uh, which will take up uh, take us. Uh, to the next uh, position, uh, we'll be doubling our uh, you know, exhibition convention capacity with the addition of new hall that will be coming in. And coming to uh, customer service or value addition to exhibition organizers, I can very confidently say that today we are probably the best venue in terms of customer service um, because that is how we draw our business. We would like to keep our customers very happy when they do shows here. We want them to be very successful. Their shows should be profitable to them. So we ensure that we support them in this endeavor that has been. And we have dedicated people who work with each organizer and uh, ensuring that their operations are very smooth. It is more like a one-stop phone call uh, thing. The organizer need not run around to find for various things here. It is just a phone call away and he gets his service done. Uh, with this, uh, the organizer need not go and apply for FOIA permission every time he does a show. The venue is actually certified to do it. And uh, this venue uh, is built by LNT and at very high standards. So there is no issues of any you know lack of fire safety standards. And this is world class, I, I would say. And in terms of other services, in terms of um, uh, security, manpower, deployment of various gadgets, door frame metal detectors to other equipment, they're all in place. We as a venue provide them to the organizer. Uh, can you please share the names of some of the major shows that Hitex has hosted at, uh, till now? Uh, there are a number of shows. Um, um, one show I am very happy to talk about is the poultry show which is the largest show that we organize and we have a 10 year contract with them going forward as well um, they have started in high in high techs and now in one hall and now gone much beyond the size of high techs uh, and every year they add up uh, new hangers to set up their show I think with the advent of our new hall I think that problem would temporarily be solved um, you know they would actually have the requirement here Apart from the poultry show, there are a number of other shows which happen very regularly. Um, UBM does a couple of shows. They have the Pharma Aliticas and the Pharma Axel, the association of the pharma industry, they have their own event uh, which is also hosted here. Um, in MMI, Messe Munchen, they host their India Lab Expo here. Um, there are a number of events, large events that happen. Um, in a year, uh, we are almost hosting close to about 80, 85 trade fairs, exhibitions and events. Now, you know, that has become an average. I would also like to know, you, uh, Hitex as a convention centre has their own, its own shows as well. With um, when we were uh, going about marketing this venue to international organizers, um, we had to tell them that there is potential on various subjects, you know, that they could come and organize. Uh, that is how the shows that we organized came into being. And today we do almost 13 uh, different exhibition trade shows. Uh, every year almost seven of them uh, are organized. Uh, there are subjects like, um, you know, machine tools to process engineering, education, um, low voltage electricity, agriculture, then uh, sports goods uh, shows. And we also do uh, B2C events like the Hyderabad Kids Fair, mm -hmm. uh, Pet Expo, you know, are some of the names that we own. The first trainer from India. What do you think is the industry coming up and they are accepting the course and what are the you know benefits of going for SEM? There is great acceptance. I think uh, the demand would be uh, even more uh, for the forthcoming uh, editions. Uh, we, we have about 95 graduates uh, in India today and uh, more would be adding up. Um, overall around the world there are 3000 people and we are close to 100 in India. And the program is uh, spread across eight different courses which cover from marketing to operations to crisis management to finance, contracting, budgets. So it gives one uh, complete picture of how an exhibition is organized to world class standards. And they get to know what happens across the world and they'll be able to actually benchmark themselves to global standards. I think that is the way we should go so that we become more competitive globally and are we are able to increase our benchmarks. 
and uh, this program is really doing good and it has done good for me personally and my team um, hitex has almost uh, 17 sem graduates uh, working in different functions hitex uh, has been doing a lot of csr activities if you can just mention some of the activities and how do you implement them um, touchwood uh, we have been a profitable entity for last few years so we are able to contribute to the csr fund uh, we have adopted a government primary school which is close by. Um, it has about 280 uh, kids studying there. So uh, about three years back we completely upgraded the infrastructure uh, at the premises. And last two years we have been taking care of uh, education, we have been sponsoring teachers uh, there and also taking care of their regular requirements like uniforms to school kids and uh, taking care of their general requirements, water, supply, power, painting, furniture, etc. are all being catered to. And uh, last two years we were also successfully upgraded uh, infrastructure in a skill development institute which is located close by. Uh, and uh, last year we also uh, sponsored an ambulance uh, which we are donating to the Rotary uh, Club here. And this ambulance would uh, exclusively cater to the, all the catchment around Hitex. IAIO Open Seminar 2018 coming up in Hyderabad. What are your upcoming plans? Uh, we are very happy to be hosting the next uh, Open Seminar and um, this would be a big affair for the exhibition industry. Uh, IIA and Hitex in that matter. Um, in 2014 when we organized uh, the open seminar we had set a certain benchmark and this time we would increase it and put a benchmark much higher. Uh, we have already started working on this uh, program. Uh, invites are all going to global leaders uh, so that they can all plan their travel quite in advance. We are also talking to the governments at uh, the central and state levels uh, to involve them right uh, at the beginning uh, so that we seek uh, both financial support and their active support in executing the event that is happening. Um, and this year we are targeting to get at least uh, 100 international delegates to our event. We want to make uh, IEIA Open Seminar a truly global event.